get asked a lot, how do I fund my nomadic lifestyle? And also I'm self-funding a documentary that I've been working on since 2015, which I've poured nearly a quarter million of my own dollars into because I haven't sold that project, I haven't released it, which I have some exciting updates about the launch date coming very, very soon. But yeah, I've been spending a ton of money on this documentary and it's a ton of travel. So in order to fund it, I've had to really get creative and I've had to really focus on building some businesses that create passive income. So for starters, passive income is an income where, you know, I don't necessarily have to be on the job site every single day, clocking in nine to five to get a paycheck. It's an income where there's a lot of upfront work, you have to put a lot of energy into it, but eventually when you get it up and running, it's more of a consistent cash generator that allows you to do whatever you want. Right before the pandemic, I was super focused on editing my documentary. I was visiting a couple schools and then the pandemic shut everything down, including a lot of income streams that I was kind of relying on at the time. I was relying on these brand deals and different deals with external companies, right? Companies were paying me money to make a video for their product or to feature their product in one of my videos. And all of that was shut down like almost instantly. I've learned this many times through my life. Life is not predictable always. And sometimes life throws you things that you just have to adapt. And just like the ancient Chinese proverb and famously Bruce Lee says, be like water. When these boulders pop up in life, like a pandemic, you have to navigate around that and you have to find a way. In order to fund this documentary that I've been working on since 2015 and fund you know, a nomadic lifestyle, getting an Airstream, getting a truck, I've had to get creative with how I'm making money, how I'm writing money off for the expenses on my documentary. With these videos, I wanna share some of those financial tips because I don't wanna just show you how awesome the nomadic lifestyle is. I also wanna provide some resources where I can share how I've done it. So hopefully you can too, because I know a lot of people out there are ready to unplug from you know the rat race or the traditional system and create new businesses, create new systems. So when the pandemic hit, I really realized that I had become way too dependent on other companies or other people, other influencers paying me money in order to fund my lifestyle. I realized if I was gonna make money, if I was really gonna truly spread my wings, I needed to create passive residual income and I had to get creative. Thankfully, ever since 2015, I've also been building a page of wisdom, positivity, and inspiration called Vibe Source. Vibe Source is about to hit a million followers. You should definitely follow that if you haven't already. Vibesource has developed over the years an amazing community. So over the years, I've come out with several different holistic products or jewelry, different things that really fit that niche. But I wanted to expand into a new demographic, a new market. Ultimately, one of my goals with Vibesource is to help empower sustainable change, really to make the world a better place and to make the world a better place, especially for future generations. With any idea or business where I start personally is where is there a space for disruption, right? Where is there a space for innovation? Because if there's a space for disruption, there's a chance to make money. So that's the key is know where to look. I've made the mistake of when I try to start a business, I look at what somebody else is doing and then try to do it myself. But that's not very creative. That's not very innovative. What I've found that works the best is to really spend time looking at areas where disruption is needed and where you can commit long term to a demographic or niche. During the pandemic, we also got a cat and my best friend who was a public school teacher had a cat and him and I got together because we were in a similar page. He wanted to retire from public school teaching. I was ready to create more businesses, to create more passive income so I didn't have to rely on others. So we got together and we started to think. We both have cats and my friend had this cat tree and it was really run down, it was really beaten up, it was just disgusting. And we were looking at it and we were thinking, you know, these things are so wasteful because it's made out of wood, it's made out of carpet, and then ultimately when it gets dirty, you just have to throw it in a dump so you can't recycle it. It's just like clunky, it's ugly, it's nasty, it's smelly. If you've been near a cat tree, it's just, it's just whack. 
So my buddy Zach and I, we got to planning and this was a months long process, but we started to really pick apart what could we do. We recognized that cats love boxes. What if we could create a product that cats like to play in that's made out of their favorite material, which is cardboard. So that's when we hit the drawing board quite literally and we designed the cat castle. Right, yeah, I know, it's pretty random. As soon as we came up with the idea for the cat castle, we are like, I don't know, man, this, this, this sounds like way out of our space, way out of our niche that we've been currently operating in. But that was kind of part of the exciting challenge. So we ended up finding someone in Detroit, Michigan, in America, that could make this product for us. So we ran a batch of a thousand cat castles to just start to test the market, because that's the next step. When you identify a product, you have to test the market. Now, a thousand units is actually quite a lot. We were pretty confident. We thought, hey, this is gonna be a hit, or at least we're gonna be able to make our money back. What I would recommend when you're ever starting a project is pay a little bit more to run a, as low of a batch as possible. You wanna get market data, you wanna get market feedback before you spend a ton of money and place a big order, right? So we ordered a thousand cat castles and we found out very, very quickly that the existing warehouse that we were using was not set up to be able to handle the assembly of the cat castles. So again, Zach and I had to hit the drawing board. So we ended up getting our own warehouse, which I'll attach the vlog to the warehouse in the link in bio if you guys wanna watch that. That whole video. So we ended up getting our own warehouse so we could handle the large pallets of inventory and we could expand our business. We wanted to create a place where we could fulfill for other clients and other companies and create other additional products as well. And you need a lot of space for that. We set up our own Shopify store and we created our own digital ads and we started to run the business. And honestly, it took off. It did really well, way better than we were expecting. So this is not a linear journey of everything just being easy. There has been so many challenges, so many road bumps, and we've had to just figure things out along the way. Like not every day is really great in sales. For e-commerce, you know, the holidays are amazing. The rest of the year is a little bit slower. And especially right now with inflation and with all these different things, we're noticing consumer spending is down like 20 plus percent. It's like the worst time to launch a business, but we said, screw it, there's no other option, and we stuck to it. We're building a brand, we have thousands of customers, they love the product, it's made in America, and the cool thing is, is it's disrupting the pet industry because it's a sustainable product. We make our cat castles out of 100% recycled cardboard, and when they're done, you can recycle them. So unlike a cat tree that you just throw in the dump and it's waste, our cat castles, when you're done, they can be recycled. The reason why I wanted to share this example is because I know it sounds funny, I know it sounds super random, but I just wanna show you how simple and random it can be to create a passive income. You just have to come up with some sort of disruptive and what I would say is sustainable idea because that's really where the future's headed. There's so many opportunities for disruption. There's so many opportunities to make something that currently is unsustainable make it sustainable. And then the third thing I'd focus on is making your product in whatever country you're from. So for here, I'm in the United States. If I can make my products in the United States or source them from surrounding countries where it also benefits their local economy, that is so much better and way more sustainable than sourcing things from China or from overseas. So after our first couple years, we've already generated well over a million dollars in sales. So the cool thing is now that we have Vibecats, we have our warehouse, I'm opening the warehouse up to anyone who's doing e-commerce and maybe doesn't have the bandwidth themselves to fulfill. So if you have a product or if you have an idea, that you're working on developing, reach out to our warehouse. I'm gonna put Zach's email down here in the description. Reach out to us because we're super down to support local small businesses. Because right now Amazon and all these big hubs like Walmart or Costco, they're really killing small businesses. So it's up to us to create small businesses, to create products, to create innovation. I wanna help empower that. So if you're out there, if you have a product, maybe you're fulfilling from home, you're trying to scale, reach out to us. We'll create a custom tailored fulfillment package that's perfect for your business. With this passive income that we've developed, I'm able to travel the country. I'm able to travel really wherever I want because Zach is holding it down at the warehouse. He does all of our fulfillment, he manages 
is the warehouse he fulfills for all of our other clients as well that we've onboarded over the last couple years and he's crushing it he's like the powerhouse and now that leaves me with the freedom to go out and finish my documentary to really focus on my passion i just hopefully wanted to share this and open the conversation if you have questions specific questions that i can answer please leave them in the comments i want to help you guys do this too i'm ready to help people transition away from the rat race away from the nine to five away from working for somebody else so you can work for yourself and you can chase your dreams and most importantly you can visualize yourself better every day all right if you have any other specific business related questions finance related questions ecom whatever leave them in the comments i'd love to answer that we're in san diego right now i'm wrapping up my documentary got some huge announcements coming on the release of the film it's actually happening which is insane for now it's time for another adventure peace